Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this photograph of a bird on Facebook and they want to just cut it out, but they want to engrave this line between the wings and the line around the eye. So I just went ahead and traced it and so you wouldn't have to wait for the trace because it took a little bit of time and hit OK. Now from here on out, you want to use the nudge distance. That's really important. I've already done it. It came out really well. And my suggestion is instead of engraving this line and this line, it turned that line into a hairline and cut out, cut out the bird at whatever speed it takes to get through the material. And then vector engrave this, which means you're cutting it out, but not deep enough to cut through the wood. It gives you a really sharp, crisp line and it'll do this line in like 15 or 20 times faster because it's just going zip instead of the laser head going back and forth. Then if you didn't like the thickness of the line, you could always rerun it with your laser out of focus about an eighth or a quarter of an inch and rerun it. Not gonna hurt it and it'll make it a thicker line if that's what you want. But this is how I did it. So I've got it done here. And I've got to ungroup it. And the reason for that is I want to use the boundary tool. And I created a boundary around it. It's taken just a little bit of time. But I nudged out. And there's our boundary. There's our cut line. Matter of fact, we're going to go two clicks over. It's pretty smooth. You could go through here. If you have X7 and above, you can use the smoothing tool and smooth this bird out really quick. If you do not have X7 or above, you can use the shape tool and just delete some nodes. And without changing the shape of the bird, you just kind of keep an eye on it and delete. Like these nodes here, you can delete a lot of them. And this is one case you'd probably want to use the freehand pick tool because that way you can get the shape without getting those other nodes so let me well, I was really wrong. You can't use a freehand shape tool with this with the shape tool, but you can get rid of all these exterior nodes that you do not need. Now we did change the shape there a little bit, but I'm gonna show you a trick. Just take that node, shift select that node, and then right click, right click and make it a line and it put it right back to where it was. But that's not really what the video is about. The video is about how to get these other lines. So we've got a, a line around his eyeball that's black, it happened to work out. So there's two trains of thought here. You could, you could engrave this. You need to smooth this up a little bit. I first would take it, select them all, go right up here to reduce notes, Type in 20 and hit enter. And then if you don't have the smoothing tool, you could uh, remove some of them by hand. I want to make my smoothing tool a little bit smaller. You're not really changing the shape, you're just making it smoother. Now, so you could engrave that, but you could vector engrave that too by going to the Smart Fill tool, filling in that shape, and then left click, right click, it's still a hairline. You can make it black. And what I meant by two passes, uh, I'll show you that in just a second. Let me go ahead and get this. And if you like the engraving, if you want to engrave, um, go for it. Now let's pick this line and nudge it over. And I'm going to do the same thing on it. But I need to reduce some of these nodes, some of this garbage to make it a little bit smoother. And you always need to make sure you're seeing your handle. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, make it a one inch. That actually smooths it out faster. If you don't have your bounding box around it, you're not on the item. So we're pretty good. So you could work with this a little bit, zoom in and out and check on it. And you could engrave that without a doubt. But you could do the same thing we did earlier. This is actually a, 
I'm gonna go up here and change, convert the outline to an object. I'm gonna left click, right click. Now we got two lines. We don't want two lines, so we take the shape tool and grab that node right there and right click and break apart. Go down to the bottom of the line, get the shape tool, get that one, right click, break apart, and then take your virtual segment delete key and delete one of those lines. Now all you have to do is kind of maybe smooth it out a little bit more. And really and truly you could do a lot with this. Um, now that it's one line, you can actually make it a better line, but we're pretty good. And then I would just nudge it over your bird. You probably don't want to engrave up it here. So we could grab the shape tool click on this and let's double click and make a node right there. Then go right click, break apart, take the virtual segment, delete key. I call it a key, it's not a key, but I just started calling it that. And then take your shape tool and move this over to that wing. We've got a little extra something there. Now, if you didn't like if you don't want to engrave that, or if you don't want a vector engraving like I'm suggesting, make it a thicker line. Come on. Make it, I'm going to turn it back to points. I was using inches last night. That's too way too thick. There's a thicker line. And scale with object. And okay, so now you could engrave that and you could do the same thing here. Double click on it. I don't know what we put this on, 1.5 and scale with object. And then that would work, but then you get rid of all this other stuff. But I really like to vector engrave it, save so much time. And what I mean by that Let's say this bird is this big, pretty big bird, and you've got it all smoothed out, ready to, ready to engrave. Two things, one, you could color map, but this isn't worth, and you'd have to change this to another color. You could put these off the screen. If these were hairlines, let's change them back to hairline. You can do both of them at the same time. And then you could cut this out of your laser. Then nudge it out of the way and nudge this back and then run another job as like you're cutting it, but go 100 power at 75 speed. It won't cut through the wood uh, or whatever you feel. And what's so nice about it, if you don't like the way it looks, you could do it again and again. And like I said earlier, you could raise your bed out of focus a little bit and it'll make that line quite a bit thicker. But when you vector engrave a line, it looks really sharp. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.